Alright, so we got a new event in EVE Online called the Capsuleer Day Clash. Capsuleer Day is to celebrate EVE Online's 17th birthday. Let's all wish our favorite game a happy birthday! Okay, back to the new event sites, they're actually called the EdenCon Production Facility or the EdenCon Research Complex. They are found everywhere with the tougher ones, the Research Complex being located in low, null or wormhole space. Just like all the other sites this year, you first find them as a cosmic anomaly in the probe scanner window. Once you activate it by warping to it, the beacon will show up in your overview and then everybody else knows that somebody's running the site in this system. So far I've seen people use Gnosis or the Dracovac, but in my opinion the best way to go here is to use the Drake Navy issue. Yep, bring your Drake this time. Now for this video I'm going to be running the tougher research complex sites, so the whole fit and the ship itself is tailored specifically for that, but if you just want to run the high sex sites I think dropping to just a regular Drake with this fit should work out, but I haven't tested it myself. It will certainly be a cheaper fit, but don't try to run the research complex in it. Stick with the Navy issue. So the fit is going to be in the description of this video, but there's a few important things I should mention. Because of the additional launcher that the Drake Navy issue provides compared to the regular Drake, you can actually amp up your DPS to the unholy 1000 plus level here. Of course you're not going to be able to apply all of it, but this is the most I've been able to squeeze out of a battlecruiser so far. If you manage to make a fit with more DPS than this, please share it in the comments, I'm looking forward to trying it. On the defensive end, I almost managed to get the ship up to 50,000 DHP, I'm just a little shy of that number, but most importantly I got to plug the holes for the explosive and the thermal damage, which is what you need to tank against the Turglavians. I would prefer to have the thermal resistance to 70%, but there's nothing else I could do at this point. Now moving on to the two things you absolutely need to run these sites successfully, and that is the Warp Disruptor and the Web. 90% of ships are going to be swarming around you within 10 kilometers, so you can use the web to slow them down and apply more DPS, getting rid of them faster. And the disruptor is what you need to keep the last cruiser on the field so it doesn't warp away. Otherwise it's going to warp away with all the valuable loot, pissing away all of your hard work down the drain. I mean, maybe not that dramatic, but you know, you get the point. Haha, <laughs> point. And this is pretty much it for the fit itself, I decided to go ahead with the Kaldari Navy Large Shield Extender just for a little bit of extra EHP. I don't think it's really necessary, it's only 400 extra points to your shield and one additional extra point to the passive shield recharge, but every little bit helps. Like I said before, I think if you swap the Navy issue for the regular Drake with this particular fit, it should be possible to run the high sex sites, but I haven't tried it yet. So the event site itself. I guess I should have mentioned it before that you can only run this in battle cruisers. The Treglavians here deal thermal and explosive damage and it is also the best damage to apply to them. You will have to deal with Damavix, Kikimorus, Vedmax and Rodivas. And you'll be webbed, pointed, nuded, blinded, all the other regular shenanigans that you can expect for the duration of the whole site. This particular site took me about 17 minutes to run, starting from the activation of the Cosmic Anomaly itself. One thing I didn't mention in the fit is that you should bring and deploy the mobile tractor unit. I totally forgot to bring mine, so I had to slow boat everywhere. But don't be like me. Make sure to bring yours, deploy it as soon as you land on grid and start orbiting it. Let all the loot come to you. As to what to target first, I would say definitely go for the starving variant of the Chaglavian ships. Especially starving Badmaxes, those take a while to grind through compared to the Kikimoras and the Damavex. After that it's really your call, probably the tangling ones followed by the anchoring ones. Just about every ship will be orbiting you within 10 kilometers, making it very easy for you to web them and kill them fast. Now I had a rather difficult time trying to figure out how many waves I can expect in this site, because ships would just warp in one or two at a time. I would say maybe four major waves, simply judging by the amount of pauses I've had on average where there was no other ships on the overview. But there's no distinct waves that I could tell where it's like let's say only five ships warp in and the last one triggers the next wave. And that's actually kind of a good thing because way too many Trogladians at once and you start losing your tank really fast. I noticed that when I would pick up an abandoned site there would be way too many ships to begin with. Making that initial fight rather difficult because I would lose out on so much of my buffer tank and then by the time the next wave kicks in my shield would be too low and I'd have to warp out and kind of begin the whole cycle anew where I would warp in, there would be too many ships and now my shield is low and just it makes it a much tougher and a longer site to run. But running the site from the beginning without any interruptions makes it a way smoother experience. I mean, good luck with no interruptions in low sec, but running them in null is quite possible. 
Now when you reach that pass between the waves when there is no other ships on grid, make sure you pull your drones. If you don't, it's very likely the Troglavians will target them first and chew through them quite quickly. Just in case, it's a good idea to keep an eye on your drones and you do have two to spare. So at the end of it all, three Volvode type ships will warp in. If you're running the high sec production facility, you will get two cruisers, the Vetmag and the Rodiva. Don't worry about any other ships that are still on grid, target the Vetmag first and point the Rodiva. Don't let it get away. For the research complex site, you would actually get the Kikimura, the Rodiva and the Dracovac. Yes, I'm calling it Kikimura, not a Kikimura, personal preference, but that is the actual Slavic word, look it up. Anywho, Dracovac's newts are actually quite strong. If you're running this in any other ship or fit, just watch out for this part. I would say target Kikimura first, then Dracovac, then Rodiva. If your cap is still fine, you can keep the point on the Rodiva. The other ship will warp off by itself either in the middle of the battle or at the end when all the Volvo ships are killed. This time around, the Kikimura and the Rodiva had the regular Troglavian survey drops, but the Dracovac actually had the good stuff. Some fireworks, a new skin, some boosters, a cerebral accelerator, basically the regular stuff from the event sites. This event site definitely won't make you rich, but it's a fun one. It's not really a walk in the park, but it's not as tough as the Dragonar sites used to be, for example. And if you didn't really like the extra step of finding the gate keys first for the previous event and the hunt, this is definitely more of a streamlined experience. Well, let me know what kind of ship you're using to run these sites. This event is on until May 20th, and I think I'm going to be streaming running these sites as my time permits. You can catch me at twitch.tv slash reloadgv, that's where I stream you online now. Thank you so much for watching. Go bring your Drake to these sites now.